reach advantage for Nate Marquardt. Five, five and rounds or less for the Strike Force welterweight title. And with the introductions, the only one who can do it the way he does it best, Jimmy Lennon Jr. All right, fans, here we go. Strike Force and Showtime present five five minute rounds for the vacant Strike Force Welterweight World Championship. Introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, standing at five feet eleven and a half inches, he weighed in at 169 and one half pounds. A freestyle fighter with a record of 31 wins, 10 losses, and two draws, with eight knockouts and 15 submissions to his credit. From Denver, Colorado, tonight, making his strike force and welterweight debut, introducing Nate, the great His opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, standing at five feet eight and one half inches. He weighed in the same as his opponent, 169 and one half pounds. A two-time All-American wrestler. His MMA record includes 10 wins, no losses, with one knockout and five submissions. From St. Louis, Missouri, introducing the undefeated Tyron T. Wood Woodley. Referee in charge now to give instructions, Dave Hagan. All right, gentlemen, this is a world championship fight. What a good, clean fight. Protect yourselves at all times. Obey my commands. Nate, do you have any questions? Tyron, touch him here. Come out fighting. Tyron, you ready? Nate, you ready? Dave Hagan is a referee. The vacant Strike Force welterweight title hangs in the balance. The undefeated Tyron Woodley in the red gloves. Veteran Nate Marquardt in his 170 pound and Strike Force debuts in the blue gloves. Immediately, Ty Woodley attacking the body. Woodley's kicks look better than they have in the past, and he's definitely ready to strike. We know it's berry season, but you're supposed to pick them, not kick them, boys. And now Marquardt, as Woodley Continues, not taking any part of the five-minute recovery period. Switching I stances. I love how low their stances are right now. Speed. Inside, low leg kick delivered by Woodley. Fast, exactly. Lots of speed. Yeah, Woodley told me he really felt like speed was the difference in this fight. Mark Watt just has no idea what his speed level is like. And Woodley's stand-up has improved, but... It remains to be seen if he has the versatility that Marquardt has shown in the past. Great victories, including a 21-second knockout over another UFC middleweight title challenger, Damian Maya. What about the, the way he finished Wilson Govea? And oh! Uh -oh Woodley catches him with a right hook right behind the ear and pounces on Marquardt. Short right uppercut, looking to change levels, wanting to grasp the takedown. Woodley swatted him across the ring with that right hand. We talked about how long it's been since Nate Marquardt has been in the ring or the cage. That should have knocked some of the rust off it. <laughs> Left knee to the body by Woodley. Marquardt has Woodley on his back, but looking to get back up to his feet here. Woodley needs to be more concerned with doing damage maybe here than wrestling. I agree. Nearing the two-minute mark of the first round, again scheduled for five or less for the vacant strike force welterweight title. Marquardt back up on his feet, got the over-unders on Woodley now. Woodley still delivering a short knee, misses with the right knee. Nice can't, high knee. Can't hang that head low, man. See the tweet there, Nate Marquardt, plenty of experience, his 44th professional fight compared to just the 11th pro bout for Ty Woodley, who also went 7-0 as an amateur mixed martial artist. As this fight gets further into it, too, you wonder how much this is going to pay off for Marquardt if he can get him in the deep water. Oh. Marquardt staggers! 
comes up with a straight right. Woodley goes down and pops right back up. So each of them has tasted the power of the other here in round one. Here's the guillotine now of Mark Ordi as a nasty one. This there he goes. Two wins via guillotine choke in his career. Woodley escapes spinning out just like we saw Keith Jardine do. But Mark Ward coming forward with rights and lefts. Woodley trying to slow him down against the fence with the underhook. Both have had each other hurt with those right hands. Marquardt needs to knee those thighs right here. He needs to knee those thighs. Very odd that Woodley's grabbing the head right now instead of having the wizard. I think he's still hurt. He is. Minute 45 left in the opening round. Marquardt has tagged Woodley. Woodley has tagged Marquardt. Marquardt now in position here looking to go beyond his back on the exit with the right hand. Oh, yeah. He's Woodley's still, still trying to clean up the cobwebs, it seems. Trying to get away from the fence. Cage, Marquardt comes straight in. Woodley's got to move. Oh, Marquardt goes downstairs to the body nice now with a tie plum. And now Woodley using the wizard like you asked, Pat. Yeah, but here's the problem. He is taking the athleticism out of the fight. What Marquardt is doing, he's tying him up, making him fight where he's familiar. Marquardt's great in here. Woodley's much better outside. Left knee to the midsection by Marquardt. Oh, nasty elbow strike upstairs. Left knee to the body, right to the leg. Final minute of the opening round. It's been a good one. Woodley has got to be careful. Can't not hang that head low because Marquardt will need. Oh, I bet Woodley yeah, right. does the same to Marquardt, whose head was low and is able to escape momentarily. Marquardt measuring them up. Body kick. Tyrus Glancing looks, blow by Woodley. Woodley still looks wobbled a little bit in the leg. He's not recovering. And he gets caught with the right oh. hand, looking for the single momentarily stuffed by Marquardt. Nice angle by Marquardt. Slipped off to the side there when Woodley escaped, and he gave uh, Marquardt that angle to land that right hand. Now because Woodley's worried about standing up with him, now he's back into that old mode where he struggles for takedowns and wears himself out. This is not a three-round fight, Frank. This is a five-round fight. Ten it's, it's, seconds it's, left in the fight. The bigger and maybe stronger Marquardt right now putting pressure on Woodley with the knee able to escape. Moving away laterally. Great round of action. How do you have it, Pat? I got to give that one to Marquardt, buddy. Yeah, I think Nathan took Why? that round. Marquardt just simply stayed busier, came back, got hurt early, but he did a lot of damage there. And I would say he took control of the fight, of the round. This is beautiful. Listen to me right now. You got him hurt, so we got to be really smart. Okay? Deep breath right now. Deep breath. Deep breath. Deep breath. Uh, dangerous fireworks in the first round. Woodley gets first blood there with an overhand right that kind of skinned the top of uh, that was of a Mark head. Shiver. But, hey, it <laughs> works, man. He jumped right on him and good on him to stay him and try to finish hurting Mark White. Well, it's got him hurt, but it couldn't put him away. Good chin on Nathan. And then he came in with this straight, I mean, right on the button shot, stepping into it. If he had his uh, right foot planted, that could have been really, really ugly. Either way, it sent Woodley sprawling on his butt and hurt him for minutes. Like yeah, Mark Hort, that showed experience because Woodley was in a southpaw stance. Mark Hort imme immediately went to the straight right and it worked. Go, guys. Go, come on, guys. Go, go, go. Second round, on back, on back, on back. So a good opening round of action. In fact, when the round ended, Woodley was looking around the cage, not really knowing which corner to go to, so still showing the residual effects of that straight right from Nate the Great Marquardt. Nate is stalking him down. Big time. It's, it's changed psychologically. You can see things have changed. Here comes the straight right. He's switching the south ball or a head kick. And this is where Mark White does his best work. Right in front of you. Power punch down the line. Uh, Mark White showing his... Oh, spinning back <laughs> fist from Woodley that actually connected, but Mark White walks right through it, then gets tagged with the right hand from Woodley. This is where Woodley needs to fight this fight on the outside, in and out type stuff, and have explosive entries into his takedowns. Beautiful. I was about to say, this is where, where Marquardt shows his experience in striking. Then he got clocked twice. Woodley with the high guard, keeping his hands up. 
See, I don't Temple's now lowering it down a bit, switching stances back to a southpaw stance. And I don't ben agree with that. With only 10 fights in your pro career, switching stances like that, it doesn't change your offense necessarily. Sure, you throw different things, but defensively, different things work, and you can get yourself in trouble real quick with an experienced guy like Mark Ward. Do you think he's doing that for uh, his wrestling? I, you know, to be honest with you, I, he likes that lead hook when he goes to a southpaw stance, but that's how he got hurt with the straight right from Marquardt in the first round. Straight right again catches Woodley, but this time he turns Marquardt to the fence. Marquardt muscling his way out of harm's way, creating the distance. A knee blocked by Marquardt. Power strikes the advantage to Marquardt. But Woodley finding some modicum of success with his striking as well but it's just the size i think right now as well the the ominous presence of mark Ward moving down from middleweight to 170 and actually weighing in under 170 at the official weigh-in needs to be more feints and fakes when you got a guy stalking you like this you got to keep him off balance low kick to the lead leg Marquardt is just cocked for power. He's ready. Body skinny, left hand way out there. Midway point of the round. Marquardt continues to stalk Woodley. See the feints and fakes from Marquardt. Yeah. Woodley has no clue when he's coming or when he's going. Keeping him off balance really well. That shows experience there. Good solid leg kick. Marquardt runs the High Altitude Martial Arts Academy in Aurora, Colorado. Also training at Grudge Training Center. I really like what Tyron Woodley stands for. He says he's going to bring back the respect to martial arts. As a man of faith, he wants people to know you can be a champion, love and respect your family and your wife. I think that's cool. Pretty good statement. Marquardt continues to work the leg kicks, countered by Woodley with a kick of his own. There's that spinning back kick right into the midsection of Woodley. And imagine if that would have caught the liver. Well, that'll take some life out of you. Marquardt comes in and Woodley stops him with a straight left. Oh, and another straight right catches Woodley again. This time Woodley comes in, trip take down by Marquardt into the wow. final minute of the second round. Bl blasted him with a three punch flurry, then hit the inside trip. That's a sick wrestling technique, just put an All American on his back. And 15 of Marquardt's 31 wins have come via submission. Your fingers out of his glove. Nathan's also got vicious ground and pound. If he finds the space here, he's going to soften Tyron up. And you're right, one of his uh, wins via submission has been due to his ground and pound, the, the punches. Woodley, by grabbing the head, the way he's doing that, he's not helping himself get up. He's got to be able to dig an underhook in and come up. Woodley, though, sitting up. Got to come up with quick. a wide base, and Woodley able to get back to his feet. And even replies with an uppercut to the body. Left kick to the head, counter right hand from Woodley. Ten seconds left in the second round. Vacant strike force welterweight title on the line. Undefeated Ty Woodley, Nate the Great Marquardt. They're giving it all they've got here in Portland. Oh, yeah. Woodley looks like he is in a fight. <laughs> You're right, Pat. He needed someone to challenge him, bring him up to the next level. Well, and it's either going to make him clam up even more, which has done so far, or he's going to open up and become the fighter he needs to be. Nate, you got those fast feet on the outside. You got that rhythm working perfectly. You need to keep picking them apart. Keep fainting at him. Marquardt had some great moments in this round. This turning heel kick, oh, a little bit lower would have been even a little more on that sternum. Yeah, hit but him in the pack. Yeah, hit him a little high, but he set it up, he turned, he stalked him, and he totally landed. Same here with the right hands and the left just blasting him and getting in the position. This is classic Nathan Marquardt, and to follow with that single leg inside trip, that was cool. Three-punch flurry by Marquardt. Uh,